Have we misunderstood the nature of time? You may have heard of the quantum physics phenomenon known as superposition. This means that a particle exists in multiple states simultaneously until it is measured. But the bottom line is that superposition is still accompanied by huge question marks. How does the particle actually behave when it is in this surreal mixture of states? What does it look like then? And how does it even know where to appear at the moment of measurement? Well, excitingly, two groundbreaking quantum experiments have provided completely new insights into this mystery, and thus possibly uncovered areas of reality that have so far completely eluded our perception. This exciting discovery could help us find the answers to some of the biggest questions in physics. So be sure to stick around until the end to find out what scientists have now brought to light. Kids, how time flies. Yeah, but how exactly does it fly? Well, at first glance, you might think that this question couldn't be more trivial. After all, we are used to seeing the hands of a clock ticking in one direction only in our everyday lives. In other words, time is an unstoppable line that moves irreversibly from the past to the future. In classical physics, for example, in the theory of relativity, time is a dimension that, together with the three spatial dimensions, forms the so-called space-time continuum. But even here, it remains essentially one dimension. However, when we dive into the exciting world of quantum physics, we suddenly realize that everything is completely different. To understand what time looks like here, we need to briefly familiarize ourselves with the most important principle of quantum physics, superposition. Imagine throwing a coin. In our classical understanding, it can land either on heads or tails, but never both at the same time. The quantum world, however, is much, much stranger. Here, it's actually possible for a particle such as a photon or an electron to exist in several states at the same time. Applied to the coin example, this means that it can actually show heads and tails, and that this only changes when we look at it. This superposition of states is known as superposition. This means that there is not just one fixed state, but several possible states at the same time until a measurement or observation forces the system to choose one of the states. Now imagine that this superposition does not only affect the location or properties of a particle, but time itself. And although this idea sounds extremely far-fetched at first, it has actually been substantiated by two spectacular quantum experiments. The Quantum Switch Experiment Normally, everything happens in a clear sequence. When you get up in the morning and make yourself a coffee, you first get up and then make the coffee. Of course, we can apply this example to any other activity. The basic principle is that one thing comes before another. And in fact, this overarching law of sequence seems so self-evident to us that we practically never question it, because it's simply familiar and, above all, logical. But in the first quantum experiment, known as the quantum switch, something incredible happens. A photon, or particle of light, is prepared in such a way that it overturns the familiar pattern and runs through two sequences at the same time. The experiment was conducted by researchers at the University of Queensland, and the results were published in renowned journals such as Physical Review Letters and Nature Communications. But how on earth is that even possible? Well, here's how. The scientists send the photon through two devices. And while device A changes the polarization of the light, or in other words, the direction in which the light oscillates, device B performs another polarization transformation. Normally, the photon would first pass through device A and then device B, or vice versa. But thanks to a trick of quantum physics, it is possible to put the photon into a kind of state in which it passes through device A first and then B as well as device B first and then A. It's as if the photon were traveling both paths at the same time. And the key to this lies in another quantum particle that acts as a control. This control particle is itself in a superposition because it is simultaneously zero and one. And depending on whether it's zero or one, it determines the order in which the photon is sent through the devices. However, because the control particle is in both states at the same time, 
the photon also experiences both sequences simultaneously, and the result is a so-called superposition of the sequence. In detail, the experiment can be set up so that the effects of the sequence are visible in the polarization or interference pattern of the photon. If the sequence were fixed, a specific pattern would be seen. But since this is not the case, an overlap of both patterns is seen, which is a clear sign of superposition. In other words, the quantum world can undermine some of our fundamental principles, because when the rules of clear processes are circumvented, cause and effect are no longer clearly defined. This stands in stark contrast to our everyday experience. But in quantum physics, there is simply no reason why the order must be fixed. In fact, some quantum algorithms and processes even work better when they take advantage of this uncertainty. When past and future overlap. The second experiment goes one step further and was developed to show that not only the location or state of a particle can be in superposition, but even the direction of time itself. In other words, that the past and the future can overlap. And that sounds a bit strange when put so bluntly. After all, we are used to things always moving in one direction through time. In other words, from the past to the future. However, since states in the quantum world can be superimposed, as mentioned above, the scientists showed that a quantum system such as a photon can also move in two opposite directions of time at the same time. To do this, two possible time sequences must be created, specifically two different scenarios in which a photon can develop. This means that in one scenario, it develops from state A to state B, and thus classically into the future, and in the other, from state B to state A, as if it were moving backwards through time. Both time directions are represented by different quantum operations. The photon is then brought into a superposition of these two scenarios, and thus into a state in which it experiences both time directions simultaneously. However, this does not happen with the help of a DeLorean and a flux capacitor, but through a superposition in quantum information space. So we are not dealing with time travel in the classical sense. To illustrate this, we can imagine the whole thing as a film being played forward and backward at the same time, and the researchers observe whether the image changes as a result. Applied to the actual experiment, this means measuring what happened to the photon at the end. Depending on the direction of time, it would behave differently, but the experiment shows that the photon cannot be clearly assigned to one direction of time. Instead, it exhibits behavior that can only be explained if both directions of time exist simultaneously in superposition. To do this, the experts used quantum circuits, in which the sequence and direction of the processes can be controlled. The photon was sent through these circuits in which a kind of clock direction was encoded by quantum operations. At the output, the interference between forward and backward was measured, a pattern that can only occur when the time directions are truly superimposed. In simpler terms, we can imagine this as a photon traveling along two paths at the same time. On path one, it is sent forward through time, from A to B, and on path two, it is sent backward from B to A. Both paths are indistinguishable and ultimately interfere with each other, and the result shows that the photon behaved as if it had traveled through both time directions simultaneously. In classical physics, the direction of time is fixed and follows the principle of cause and effect. However, the experiment shows that the direction of time in the quantum world can be in an indeterminate state. The experiment thus provides evidence that causality in the quantum world works fundamentally differently than we are used to. In detail, the direction of time could be an emergent phenomenon, something that only arises from many small quantum processes. At the deepest level of natural law, there may be no preferred direction of time because it may only arise through interactions. But what does this mean for us? After all, the experiments raise some fundamental questions. Is time really just a straight line from the past to the future? Or is our sense of time merely a highly simplified perspective on a much more complex reality? Because if time in the quantum world is not linear, if events can happen simultaneously in different sequences, and if directions of time overlap, 
then our concept of cause and effect is no longer universally valid. Because who knows, maybe at the end of the day, time is not what we always believed it to be, but rather a phenomenon that is still not understood, which only emerges from a quantum reality hidden from us. And what does that mean for our understanding of reality, freedom, and consciousness? How does it affect free will if the future and the past overlap? Can we really choose what happens? Or are all possibilities already there at the same time? As we can see, quantum experiments set one or two philosophical thought experiments in motion. But beyond that, they also have a very practical use, especially in the field of quantum computing. Ultimately, quantum computers could benefit from being able to perform operations in an indefinite order. This would be impossible for classical computers. But beyond that, the findings could also help in the long term to overcome what is probably the greatest challenge in physics, namely, the unification of quantum mechanics and gravity. And perhaps the key to this lies in understanding time as a multi-layered, flexible concept, which is impressively demonstrated by the breathtaking superposition. By the way, the subscribe button is also in a great position, right below our video. Just click on the thumbs up and subscribe to never miss another post from us. See you soon.